So our next question comes from Jacqueline in Laporte, Indiana, and here's her question. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Liao. I'm a student studying mechanical engineering at Purdue University in Indiana. Um, my question is for Lonnie mainly, being that she was an electrical engineering student. I recently watched a video where Lonnie was talking about how we don't always have the language to explain ourselves in certain situations. I struggle with this immensely in not only my professional settings, but my personal life as well. I was wondering if Lonnie could talk about how this impacted her when she was an engineer and how it's impacted her now. Oh, oh you, well, you know what? You sound great to me, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? And thank, thank you, you for, for watching us on Fox 32. Exactly. Um, first of all, uh, when I made that statement, it was about actually having to be at this table with these fabulous ladies. Mm. And sometimes... Um, thank you. It takes me a while to get my words out, as most of you probably know. <laughs> so I would suggest that whenever you're in a, a certain setting, because we're numbers girls, we're, we're in STEM, we really don't care about words, keep your words as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. um, also, use simple words, but learn how to get your point across simply, you know. Mm. Uh, if you're talking to someone, like a lawyer, a doctor, or Amanda, and they say a big word that you don't understand, you know, don't be afraid to say, you know, can you, what, what that mean? You know, <laughs> you know what, what you talking about? Surreptitious. Yes. Get clarification. Don't ever let anybody make you feel yes, yes, inadequate yes, or yes. silly yes. or dumb, yes. you know. Because you're very, very smart. You and hit us with the numbers and we'll be asking you the same way. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. What that mean? What that mean? <laughs> the last thing I want to say is a lot of times I sit at this table and people say, oh, Lonnie, you're being quiet. I'm not being quiet. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm in the middle. And there's conversations here and there's conversations here. Sometimes at the same time. And, <laughs> so, and that's fine. And that's okay. But it really takes a special person to know how to listen. Mm -hmm. And a lot of engineers, because we know how to solve problems, we are really good listeners. And I'm listening because I want to be able to respond because we're trying to give you the best conversation that we can. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to be quiet and just listen. And really not be quiet, but actually hear what they're saying mm -hmm. because you will get so much knowledge and you get to learn big words when you listen to other people. <laughs> yeah. So that that's my that advice. That was amazing, to you. Lonnie. Yeah. 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 That was I love awesome. it. And I think that's also really beautiful to recognize that people have different strengths. Mm -hmm. And that you not being a words person doesn't necessarily have to be a weakness. Like you said, that right. makes you an incredible listener. And I just think that's awesome. And everybody has their strengths yes. and weaknesses. Yeah. And, and you're for women in STEM. Yes. yes. And you know what also I see about you, Lonnie? When you feel like you can't get a word out, you're not hard on yourself. You're mm -hmm. actually patient with mm -hmm. yourself. So mm -hmm. I would tell her, you know, just, just be kind and be patient with yourself. Yeah. And you'll get it. Yeah. yeah. You'll and be fine. Yeah. Also, um, I've learned that, that when it comes to communication, I believe it's like 60% is actually paraverbal skills. It's not the actual words that you're saying. See, like, what's paraverbal? <laughs> it's all of the things that come with communication. It's the eye contact. It's the inflection of your voice. It's the way that you move your hands. It's the emotion behind it. So don't worry so much on the words. When you, I mean, think about when you travel across country and you don't speak the language. When you really want to tell somebody that their food is so good or that their baby mm -hmm. is beautiful, there are ways that you say things and the warmth of your eyes always connect with human contact. So just know that your and emotion will come that out to me. So yes. great. And if that. you have to, if you have to present, you know, because in this field you'll still have to present to, mm -hmm. to bosses and to coworkers. Um, I feel like just kind of know, being an expert at whatever you're yes. talking about mm -hmm. always gives you a certain level of comfort mm -hmm. and confidence, confidence that you can use as a springboard. And prepare well, it. Done. Prepare it. Yes. Yes. Don't be prepared. Talk about. Yeah.